everybody welcome back to another tutorial how you are doing hope you are doing great so in this video we're gonna be making a double circle skirt so let's get to it so this is the fabric we are working with we are using three to four meters of scuba fabric so the measurement we need for this tutorial are the waist and the length measurements the waist we are working with is 28 inches so I'm gonna be adding one inch for zip allowance because it's a stretchy fabric I'm not gonna be adding um, seam allowance to it this is very stretchy so we will start by folding the fabric into two I will divide the waist measurement into two 28 plus 1 inches for zip allowance is 29 inches 29 divided by 2 is 14.5 inches we will go ahead and fold our fabric into two so this is the right side so I will fold it to the wrong side. The fabric is folded into two. Then I will fold it again. And it's folded into four now. I will do the same thing to the other side. Remember we are cutting two of these. So I will add the other panel to it. I will cut both of them together in order not to waste uh, too much time. So I will bring this one again. So I'm cutting both together. We are cutting full flare, two full flare. I have to divide 29 inches into two because I'm cutting two of that. So I'll divide 29 by two, which is 14.5, and 14.5 divided by 6.28 gives me 2.3. So I'll rather round it to 2.4. We're gonna be using this as the radius. So from here, right from the edge here, I will measure 2.4 inches round. I will take it round series of circle skirt or circle dress in my channel you can check it out so 2.4 I will take it around so right from where I marked the 2.4 I will take my length measurement and the length measurement is 27 inches plus 1 inch for seam allowance. That is to hem the bottom of the skirt. That is 28 inches. And I will be adding 1 inch um, waistband. I will subtract 1 inch from 28 inches. So I'm left with 27 inches. I will take the 27 inches round. So this is the 27 inches I will cut out the this side first I will cut out the waistline then I cut the down part It's difficult to cut in a stretchy fabric. I finished cutting the two circle. So I will go ahead and split both of them into two. I will split this side into two. Somebody asked me in my previous video, how did I get 6.28, 6.28 inches I used to divide the waistline. That is the formula for circle skirt. Any measurement you want to use, you use 6.28 to cut out your circle or your flat. Now we still split this side into two. 
so this is one part and this is the other side the other part after cutting them into two I will go ahead and pin one side together So I will stitch this side and this side I will still pin this side but pin it halfway because of the zip allowance. So I pin it right from the bottom to this place and this place is where here the remaining part is where I will add my zip. So I will sew this half, so I will sew this place I pin and sew this side from the waist to the length. Now come back to you guys. I finished sewing the side and I sew half of this side and I left the side unsewed. This is where I will insert my zip. So this is the zip I'm using. So I will now go ahead and uh, attach my zip to the skirt. So I cut out one inch for zip allowance. So I will fold it one inch, grab my zip. So I make sure the right side of the zip is facing down. So I will take it and pin my one inch to the zip. Now we pin the other side as well. So after pinning it, I will take it to my machine and sew this side, the one inch I pin down to the zip and sew this one inch on this side, so one inch on the other side. Then before we attach the waistband. So guys, I finish attaching the zip to the skirt. So the next step is for us to attach the waistband. I cut out about 35 inches length for the waistband and the wideness is two and a half inches. So I will use one inch for seam allowance or one and a half inch for seam allowance. So we'll take the skirt, we'll pin this around the waistline. So I'm gonna take half an inch, we'll take like so, I take it like so and I'll pin it right from the waist, right from here I'm pinning half an inch around the waistline So, I will sew the half inch round to the waistline, then before we turn it to the other side. So, I've sewn this side, and I will take it, I will take it again and fold half inch. Like 
nice. So I will take half inch, fold it inside, and I will use it to cover the stitch, the first stitch I made. So I will sew it around. I will sew the place I pin, I will sew it around. Then after I've done that, I will take my the damp part of the skirt. So I use an overlock machine to lock the damp part of the skirt. So I will take half inch and take half inch again. And I will pin it round. So I prefer pinning it before sewing in so I can have that uh, neat finish look. So I will sew the waistband round again and sew the damp part of the skirt. So guys, I finish sewing the waistband to the skirt. So this place I use pin to pin them together because I will insert a button here. I've finished sewing the damp part as well. So here is the finished look of the skirt. So any cloth you don't see me put on, you know it's not mine. I'm making this for a client. I'm obviously not going to put it on. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Then also don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So you get to know each time I upload new video. Thank you so much. I love you all. I will see you on my next one. Bye.